hey guys welcome back uh, so guys in this video we are going to do that how to send an OTP and verify the OTP okay so we will do be do that combining both the things so we have already done that how to send the OTP uh, in PHP and then verify the OTP okay so if you have not watched this videos so please uh, uh, see that video and I have given this video link into the description so guys first you have to understand this how to sending the OTP and how the verification is done okay so first you have to watch that then only you can work now okay to merge these two files okay so how can we enter and then next go to verify and then to your main page or whatever you are doing login system or whatever you are retrieving or showing the data with the OTP okay so guys um now let's get started I'll close this and the first file okay so that is let's go to our view okay so guys if you're watching from the previous video you will understand it better and uh, yeah as normal thing we have sent the mobile number and took the number and send the OTP in the previous video right and this was the code where we have given the authentication key and uh, the sender ID and then we have done with this okay if you are not understanding please watch out the previous videos that is part 1 and part 2 and this is part 3 where we are going to send the OTP and verify it and then work with the thing okay so first thing is that you have to change some things in this okay so first we will do is that we will uh, send the OTP and see the OTP is coming okay so let's get started with that so I will show you the output of this first okay what is the output so let's send it triple eight zero two zero two six one seven and let me send the OTP and it is message is coming that message and type is success right so the OTP has come now I will show the OTP okay so the OTP is over here and let's view the output and I will show you that welcome to fund of web IT and your OTP verification is this okay and now so this you if you want to see see that this is the correct OTP I'll show you that see with OTP that is by here okay so with OTP fine so now guys you have to send it and get the verification also okay so don't get confused now let's get started okay so I'll close this files simply it's opened okay so first step start the session we are going to use the session okay so session underscore start okay and give enter and now what we have to do is that we have to store this number what number you are typing you have to store into one session okay so that is like I am going to give a variable that I mean going to give a session okay is equal to your this post okay that number you are going to give so let us cut this and paste it over here now this your number is stored into your session okay and this session will copy copy it and paste it below the variable okay so there is no confusion just a simple change I am doing using the session we have to do all this okay so let's uh, make sure your session is start and now it is set and this variable is it is coming into the session and doing the same process okay so after this directly come down here it is okay so we are going to see if error means if error means it will display else it will respond that message okay so this function this uh, line tells this thing okay so this is telling right so what we have to do is that um, go to your code and let's paste this above okay so no confusion just a few changes and uh, what I'm going to do is that type else 
and paste this inside in it okay so let's paste that over here save it so we don't need this we have to uh, when it is success means see the output is called success right so the OTP is sent so when the OTP is sent it should go to the verification verify the OTP page okay so let's go to there and yes let's type that so instead of typing I have already typed and kept it because it takes more time to show over here okay so this is the code which I have done now where I have decoded the response okay so this response which we are echoing right so I have decoded that and I have decoded this response into JSON variable where type and message okay two things are there I'll show you so this is the message and this is the type okay so type is equal to success or type is equal to error you will get in these two things only you will get okay so for that I have done is that so when JSON type is success let's go to verify OTP okay if it is error then show the message whatever we are getting okay or oh, that is OTP is not sent whatever it will come by the default thing okay so it's just a simple thing that we have to include this okay step so let's save this and save it let's execute it now okay so make sure you have created one file for this okay so let's I have already done that verify OTP dot PHP okay so this is the file uh, yes so let's get back and reload the page and now let's send and it will go to that form okay so let's triple eight zero two zero two six one seven and let's verify if it is sending the OTP it will go to that other form okay this is send OTP send verify OTP it will go okay so let's send the OTP and it went to send verify OTP okay and now here you have to enter your mobile number and OTP but we have already entered the mobile number right so we don't need this mobile okay so we are going to cancel this and only enter the OTP okay but I have got the message I will show you now so see here I once again I have got that message and where is that okay so I have got this message okay but we have to enter the field and then notify okay so we don't need this method so let's go back to the coding and yes guys so this is the second coding okay let me save this and this is the second coding where we are using the mobile number and the OTP number okay so that form is this one right so the form is this now we want directly to enter the OTP okay so in previous video you have learned this and now we will get back to that and this is the normal form which we are getting after the success of that okay so I'll show you this this is going to verify OTP page let's go to that verify OTP page okay and coming over here let me close this and see here so we don't need this mobile number okay so I'm going to directly remove it off okay so let's save this and let me reload the page and it is coming only OTP number okay so let's enter the OTP number so before that you have to call the session also in inside this form okay so that is uh, let's get down to the coding part here you have to start the session session underscore start okay so your session is started now and now you have to call that number which we are stored into that session okay so let's get back to the previous one coding and I will show you yes this is the thing which we have stored in the session okay so let's copy this control C copy and let's paste it over here okay so instead of giving the mobile number we are getting that value from the session that's it just a simple change okay I have nothing done in this 
if you are not understanding all this please watch out the previous two videos which i have given in the description and then only you can understand this flow of it okay so now i have called this mobile number using the session okay so it is started and this is session is declared and same thing it will do okay so we don't need to have to enter the mobile number directly it will verify it so after verifying you should send the message okay so it's shown here that if else okay so if the otp is verified it will tell yes type success and it is verified so for that we have to give the same coding where you have to decode the json format and then encode it so i'm going to copy that so let's copy this copy and get back and paste it over here okay just paste done right so now what we have to do change the header so after verifying the otp it should go to some other page so i'll send otp verified.php okay i have created this simple file there is nothing in this okay so just a one header heading content that now your otp is sending and verification is completely done okay combine combo okay so let's go to verify otp and tell that otp verified dot php okay else it should return an error okay so your otp is not verified okay so it should declare some it should respond something like this okay so let's save this and check the output for that okay so to run this session and all so you have to restart it okay so let's get back and let's go and start from again so let's reload the page okay and let's send it once again and display that okay so this is my phone which i am using through google okay so yes let's send the otp and see the output 8802026170 let's send and it is sent and then it have come over here how to verify the otp and now let's verify yes i have got the message just now and let's open this so we have got that 4982 okay so let's enter that 4982 okay so where is that okay so let's 4982 4982 okay let me if if it is correct then it will lead me to other page if it is wrong then it will tell me error okay so let's verify and boom you have finally your otp sending and verification is completely done okay so suppose if you are entering a wrong otp what you will get some error you will get okay so let's change this so as 81 okay let's verify and it is telling that your otp is not verified okay but it is telling already verified here right that message because we have verified it the number is already verified okay so it is the way that it tells okay so if you are entering a wrong otp at starting only it will tell wrong otp okay because it is telling this error because it is already verified so we don't need to enter it again okay so guys um thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share the channel and we have completely done with how to send the otp and verify the otp okay so guys um please subscribe like and share thank you once again